Hey guys and gals. Oh, <laughs> this month I'm telling you what's the dang truth. Well, it's October 12th. This month is turning into a real, can I say, bad month. I'm coming along good on my, my, my physical rehab. I, I did something today. That I haven't been able to do, which is a. Uh, I was sitting on the pod. The way I go to the party, I get help from Donovan uh, to get out of my wheelchair. Uh, he, I get stood up. And I grab the walker and I back myself over to the potty and get on the potty uh, with Donovan's help. And then when I'm done, I have to uh, Call, you know, I clean myself and then I call Donovan and Donovan helps me stand up, pulls my pants up, and when, I st when, he, when he stands me up, I grab hold of the walker and I back myself over to the wheelchair and I sit down in the wheelchair. That's the normal procedure, but this time, this morning, uh, I, oh, pain in my knee. I didn't call Donovan, and I thought I would do like, that. we call them push-ups. I grabbed the arms of the body, and I raised myself up as far as I can, and then set, trying to, trying to, work on the muscles in my shoulders and stuff. And this morning I was doing that and when I pushed myself up a little bit, I didn't stop. I kept going and I stood myself all the way up. Uh, and stand there. And then I called Donovan and I'm standing there, I'm holding the walker he comes in, pulls my pants up, and then I walk over to the to the uh, wheelchair and set myself down. So he was surprised that I did that. I was surprised that I did that. So that tells me I'm getting stronger in my arms and my shoulders. Uh, I think tomorrow I may do a dry run on the party thing just to show you what I'm talking about. Somebody said, why don't I show some of the stuff that I'm doing, you know, the exercises and stuff. So I've got, uh, I got some stuff that I ordered from, uh, Wished I had my little tripod. Oh, uh, that I'm using to work on my arms and my shoulder, cause the strength 
That's where I'm lacking in my strength is in my arms and my shoulder. Anyway, the rehab stuff's coming along uh, pretty good. But I got stuff that's happening this month, you know, to finding out that we got to move. Uh, one thing. Uh, and something's come up. My grandson, my middle one. Folks, I have never had anybody leave the nest. The nest being my house, my home, my family. We've always been together. And my grandson, the middle one, he moved out one time with this girl. That only lasted two or three weeks, and he was back. He had enough of that. And he went through a major breakup with her and all that. Well, when I come down with COVID, he met this girl. Uh, I haven't met her. And so he hasn't known her all that long. Well, she lives in Gainesville. Gainesville's about 25 miles from here. And she's going to college over at Gainesville. Uh, make a long story short. He's been spending most of his time over there when he's off from work and staying over there and stuff like that. Now, he's moving. He's moving in uh, with her. Uh, he has got a trans, he works at Wawa. He has got a transfer from the store that he works at here in Ocala to a store in Gainesville. He requested a transfer and they give him the transfer. So if he, next week he starts working at that store in Gainesville. Uh, so he's moving out. My, I think it's a big mistake. I'm not going to tell him that. He's 21. Uh, but my thing is, he hasn't known her long. And... Now, and he goes to college, well, he did go to college here. He hasn't, he's missed this last semester, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so I don't know what's going on with his school. I don't know what his plans is. I know she's going to college, and now he's not. Uh... So I don't know, you know, I just think it's a mistake. <sighs> and I don't want him going nowhere. Uh, I want to plus now we got to move. Uh, my daughter's put in an application to rent this house. Uh, I don't guess she's heard back from that yet. And that costs $55, which I don't understand why they got to charge you for an application. I mean, 
does it cost them something just to check on your background and stuff? I don't know. I don't know. And I mean, <sighs> I, I don't know, you know, I just, I, we're a family and I feel like we should be together, but I got to understand they got to have their own life. Uh, Donovan's not going to be going anywhere. Uh, Jaden, who knows what he'll do when he gets older, you know, I don't know. Oh. Uh, I don't know, guys. But I'm a fam. I, I just want us all to be together. I like, I like my babies being just footsteps away from me. Uh, I guess I've become more into one big happy family when, when my son died in 86, 1986. Oh. Cause I used to didn't be like, well, I wasn't aware of me being like that. Oh. And I come from a big family. Well, I have I have nine brothers and sisters. Had nine brothers and sisters. I got one that's dead. Oh. But even like my grandparents and my aunts and uncles, we were. It was all a big family. There was always a bunch of people around, stuff like that. Oh. My grandma's and granddaddy's house, that was a big old two-story house, you know, and uh, there was no bathroom inside. The bathroom was a Johnny house sitting out there in the yard, well, a little bit, not quite in the yard. But... <laughs> My, <laughs> my grandmama, uh, she was country. And, you know, at night you had a, I, we call them slop jars. <laughs> it was a chamber pot that you peed in and you pooped in too, I guess. Uh, but Grandma, if she just had to pee, she would step out the door of the house and pee in the yard. That seems kind of rude or crude or something, you know. But, and she didn't want to go to the Johnny house. Well, I was upstairs in the bedroom, one of the bedrooms, and I had to pee. And I may have told this before, I don't know, but this is for the ones that I haven't told it to. But instead of peeing in the chamber pot, I walked over to the window and the window was raised up anyway because it, it was summer and of course there's no air conditioning <laughs> and it just so happened that this window was directly above 
the door that grandmama come out the door to pee. And me and her had had to go at the same time. Well, I didn't know she was down there, and you can guess what happened. <laughs> I peed out the window, and Grandma was standing down there peeing in the, on the ground, and I peed right on her. <laughs> Boy, she started squalling and hollering. And she was gonna come up there with a the switch and tear me up. And of course, my mama was there and mama wouldn't let her. <laughs> Thank goodness. Cause grandmama believed in that switch. And she kept switches. She had switches everywhere. I think she had a switch in every room. And they was keen hickory switches. No, that wasn't hickory, what was that? And I, it was a, I call it China berry tree. But they grow these long, slim, keen switches. And that's, she had one of those, I, every, she wasn't far where she couldn't reach and grab one and, and give you a good switching. <laughs> but I, I peed on grandma that night. <laughs> oh, I must have been eight or nine years old. So what year would that have been? That would have been in the late 40s, 48, 49. Uh, could have even been 50. <laughs> My grandmama was a pistol. And you know, I don't guess she wore bloomers or panties. I don't know, because we'd be walking down the road, a country road, a dirt road. And <laughs> just seemed so crude. So disgusting. But if she, all of a sudden, if she had to pee, she'd walk over to the side of the road and there wasn't no cars or anything coming, and usually there wasn't. It was a whole long country road. She kind of hiked that, and she wore these long dresses, and she'd just kind of walk over there and spread her legs and let it rip right there in front of us kids. I don't recall her ever doing that in front of adults, but she sure did it in front of us kids. <laughs> that was my grandma Pearson. <laughs> but I loved her and she's the one She's the one that uh, that uh, that's where Mama, when Mama left us kids for this man that she run off with, she, you know she took my she took Michael and Joe. And that was my youngest ones. They were toddlers, and she left me and Carolyn and George at grandmama's. She tried to leave us at her, at mom, grandmama Hope, mama's mother. And grandma Hope wouldn't have nothing to do. Said, you, if you're leaving, you take your kids. You don't dump your kids on somebody. So with that, she run across town, well, a little bit out of town and, and dumped us at grandmama Pearson's. And we had, she had us, when we left the house and left Daddy there drunk on the floor, she had us get some of our clothes and put in these brown 
paper bags and we took our little paper bags and went up there and knocked on the door and grandmama come to the door and mama didn't say squat. She just took off. She took off. She told us when we got gone, I'll be back and get you in two or three days. Well, that was like two or three years before we even knew where she was at. But, I don't know that, I don't know how that affected me. It had to affect me. Anyway, I guess... Boy, I'm gonna miss my grandson. I, I don't see him that much because he works and he's going to school. Now he's just working and he's not going to school. So I don't know what's up with that. I don't know. But I guess that'll be it for now. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. This has the makings of a bad month for us. I, right now it seems bad. Maybe it's not going to be as bad as I think it's going to be. I don't know. And then Frankie dying, you know, Frankie getting COVID and it, and it taking him out in less than a week. He didn't even, he didn't even last a week after he got it. Uh, they had to put him on a ventilator. Uh, Uh, I was hoping that come time for the election that I would be able to stand myself up and walk into the poll and vote. This is going to be the first one that I've met. I, there was one I didn't vote in, and I was in the military, and... Uh, but as far as that goes, every other one I've made, I've went, I've been able to vote. I, I guess I don't know if it's still t time to get an absentee ballot or a mail-in ballot or not. I'll have to. I'll have to check on that. I think I'll do that. Cause I want to vote. I'm not one of those that said, well, mine won't make all that much difference. Well, if enough people say that, then this, it would make a difference. It would make a difference. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Uh, I still hadn't, my daughter still hadn't got over and made a video of the house. Maybe she'll do it today. Um, I sure wish I could go over and see it. But anyway, I'll see you in the next video. I, I, I appreciate it. Uh, guys, I, I, I hate to even say anything about donations and tips that people give me and gifts and stuff because ever since that one well actually there was two one of them I took down the other one uh, I thought maybe the person that put it up took decided to take it down but turns out one of my subs that's uh a moderator on my channel that has that can go in there and they, they kind of watch my back and and she took it down, which I don't care, you know. She was she was very upset about what they said, but uh, I was upset, but I wasn't gonna take it down. And uh, 
I was going at one point I was going to do a GoFundMe page and see if as bad as we need money right now to get this because we don't even know how we're going to pull this rent thing off. We think we got it figured out. But the problem with what we figured, uh, well, I just said I wasn't talking about money no more because that one lady, a uh, person said that I was asking for money. Well, I'm, I'm not going to talk about it. Uh, but to the ones that's been donating, I appreciate it so much. Anyway, I'll see you. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Good night. Good evening. What time is it? It's four thirty. The day is gone. It's in the shank of the evening. I call it. See you in the next one.